This is KRCG 13 Live at 5. A Fulton man has been arrested in relation to the incident that caused Boone Hospital to lock down yesterday evening. 22 year old James Dean Lolly was taken into custody by Columbia Police for making second degree terroristic threats. Through their investigation, officers determined the threat as non credible. Lolly was taken to jail but was released after posting a $1,500 bond. A Boone County public grand jury last week indicted a man that was the cause of a manhunt in June. 36 year old Brant Futes was accused of burning the garage and vehicle of a relative on June 28th on Hunt Ridge Drive. Columbia police confirmed with KRCG that Futes was connected to a shots fired call from the same evening on Gray Oak Drive, also in Columbia. The shots fired call triggered the manhunt and Futes was arrested later the same day. Futes was indicted on August 4th when an arraignment scheduled for August 18th. Two Missouri Red Cross volunteers are helping victims of a deadly wildfire that swept through Maui. One volunteer from Springfield is helping with staffing and another volunteer from St. Louis is on the national team. Red Cross volunteer deployments to Hawaii last three weeks instead of the usual two week deployments because of the long traveling distance. Federal officials declared a state of emergency for the entire island of Maui. Wildfires destroyed thousands of homes and businesses. Members of the Central and Northern Missouri chapter of the American Red Cross predict volunteers from their area will soon be on the ground helping with food and shelter. We have people coming in from a lot of other states and as they kind of settle into what is needed, the fire is just now starting to get under control. Um, we'll be able to see what is needed and we will be deploying people who are specially trained in those areas of need. I would expect us, though, to deploy several members from central and northern Missouri. As we told you yesterday, two members of Missouri Task Force One are also in Maui on search and rescue missions. One task force member serves as an operation section chief. The other is a resource unit leader. Their deployments will last up to two weeks. The death toll from the wildfires burning in Hawaii have increased to 55. According to the Associated Press, over 1,000 structures have been burned down on the island of Maui due to the ongoing fires. The fires started burning Tuesday, and winds from a passing hurricane and a dry summer fuel those fires. This video was taken in Lahaina. Local officials say much of the historic town has been destroyed. Our community has been devastated. Uh, Lahaina was um, whenever was our kingdom's capital. We have we have lost so much. It, it's in ashes. 55 deaths makes this the deadliest U.S. wildfire since the 2018 campfire in California.